Hey guys, it's three in the morning here, and Marsha died uh, last Friday at 9.05 p.m. For those of you guys that don't know who Marsha is, she's this homeless lady that I met three years ago, and with your guys' help, was able to raise $20,000 to effectively get her a motel for six months and then put her in transitional housing and then get her an apartment. I also, while helping her, also got canceled by some shitty people. People assumed that I just pocketed the money and started a whole investigation against me. And when I complied and was revealed to have actually been appropriately using not just the money, but my own, there was no apology. The damage was already done. And to this day, people accuse me, threaten me. There are a lot of things that I didn't tell you guys about her. She's out of her own privacy, but she's dead now. So I think it's okay. But she was a schizophrenic alcoholic. And so I had to deal with a lot of crap. I can't tell you how many bottles I had to throw away how many bottles I found, how many times I found her just on the floor, drunk out of her mind, <laughs> talking to people that weren't there. But for every crazy moment, there were 10 sweet moments. Because at her core, alcoholism and schizophrenia aside, she was actually just a really sweet lady with a beautiful smile. For the first six months, I saw her every day, twice a day, called her three times a day, took her to every appointment, every hospital visit, every social worker visit, anywhere, DMV, you name it, I took her there. And every time I saw her, and every time before I left, I prayed for her. We did Bible study together. I have no regrets is what I'm basically trying to say. I have so many good memories with her. I knew she was going to pass for a couple of months now. January of this year, she uh, fell in her apartment in the middle of the night and had to be hospitalized. She uh, hurt her hip. Oh, this is hard. It looked like she would never be able to walk again because she was bedridden for so long. Her leg muscles atrophied but at least she was getting better. Until one night, a couple months ago, um, she tried to get up by herself to use the restroom in the middle of the night, and she fell again. Because of the type of hospital it was, she wasn't being checked on regularly in the middle of the night, and so she was just kind of left there until she was finally found. But after that, she was pretty much bedridden and unresponsive. I remember the last time seeing her, she was just in bed, closing her eyes, intermittently opening them, seeing me, closing them, going back to sleep, waking up, looking at me. And I asked her, hey, do you just want to go to sleep? And she said, yeah. I knew that she didn't have long. And so last Friday when I got the call, even though it came as initially a shock, I wasn't really, really surprised. And I was the only one to go visit her. I was the only one to go see, to check and make sure her things were in order. I don't even know why I'm making this video. Maybe this is how I cope. I don't know. But basically, I'd like to close this chapter of my life, at least officially. This will be my last video that I make about her. And for those of you that have remained supportive and loyal throughout this whole situation, thank you. Because by no means am I a good person. I've always just said that I'm a bad guy trying to be a good guy. If you watch this thing all the way through, thank you. God bless you and God bless you, Marsha. I hope you're resting in peace, and hopefully I get to see you in heaven. I love you, girl.